Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Mike the Muffin Modeler here and before we get started, as always, I would like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers new and existing I hope you enjoyed the shorts, oh sorry about this guys, I'm just getting rid of a shed load of bloody cobwebs that seem to have accumulated over the last few days as I haven't been in the shed um, but yeah getting back to it um, hope you enjoyed the, some of the shorts that I posted from uh, Duxford the Imperial War Museum uh, flying day there are more but for, um, it told me basically that I'd exceeded the upload limit for the day so uh, it wouldn't allow me to do any more. I tried to, it said wait 24 hours. I've waited 24 hours and it still won't let me do it. So, um, yeah, I'll have to leave it another 24 hours or so to see what happens there. But anyway, on the bench, the postman arrived yesterday. Oh, would you believe it? It starts raining just when I'm doing a video. Never mind, I suppose. Yeah, the postman arrived. My other half, again, has been spoiling me. I am lucky in that respect. I'm very well packaged. I know what it is, but... I do have another um, package to open as well which you'll see straight after this one I'm going to cut the end off I think All the way from Poland. There we go. Bought on eBay. I've seen this product used on various channels, and I thought I would like to give that a go. Flexi 5K CA glue, super glue. Nigel, Nigel's modelling bench, he uses it and I thought that looks really good. I've seen him use it on various things and uh, I quite like the look of that so yeah I thought I would give it a bash. Ideal for filling gaps and seam lines and things and being black as well when you obviously when it's applied and it's dried and then you sand it it will um, you'll be able to see where you um, sand down to so that's good so I'm pleased I've got that now I can give that a go It's the Hobby Boss. Uh, what is it? What scale is it? It's 148 scale F 14A Tomcat of the Iranian Air Force, it, called the Persian Cat. This one. Um, I picked it up when we ducked into a tent at Cosford the other week because it was uh, it started raining. I picked it up, it was £38 
and I'll sort of undenard as it's a Tomcat obviously different livery and everything I thought do I justify buying it or do I leave it and I ended up putting it back but then when I came home my other half said did you buy anything I said no I had this blah 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 in my hand thought about buying it but didn't and then I said I wish I had she said we'll find it put it in the basket and she bought it for me so I think I'm gonna have to start putting that on being sponsored I think buying me so much so there's what's in the kit got the instructions and a colour call out sheet for the different liveries that's one two three different liveries on it I must say I like I do like that and I do like that but then I do like the other one as well so that looks pretty good that'll be a bit of a decision we'll leave the instructions until later Uh, there's a box on the right hand side if you can't see it a box full of parts it's one two three four five six seven eight nine sprues and another box so Let's delve into it and we'll have a look, see what we got, see what we've got. Um, I'm going to have to spray this black or something, I think, or maybe I can just not knock everything over and I can do away with that. And just do it on the green surface maybe you might be able to see things a little bit better I don't know I don't know but we'll see you'll have to let me know in the comments if doing it on a darker background is better for you to see so let's have a look nice detail it's nice and nice and crisp recessed panel lines hopefully these the wings which obviously these are there's a lot um, probably the upper part and lower part or vice versa hopefully they will move together but looks very nice um, from the detail and the holes along or the recesses along the wing looks like you can either have the flaps up or down so that be interesting Here we have the forward section that covers the underneath of the cockpit I think. Now you have a couple of missiles or whatever in there and I think that's uh, where the, um, the rear part of the nose wheel goes. That's the air brake. I think this, that's more parts of I think that might even, this 
might be part of the gun maybe machine gun some panels I think this is from these two parts maybe part of the I would have said the air intakes but I don't think they are all part of the gear bay doors gear bay doors I think these are part of the gear bay doors there's some really there's really nice detail on that really nice Here we've got two sprues exactly the same. Obviously it goes without saying what these parts are. It's the engines. Nice lines. Nice fan. Nice um, engine detail on the top. really nice no flash or anything that I can see mind you it would help if I put my windows on just a couple little tiny bits to cut off but other than that all really nice nice detail and that'll be interesting because I've also I've got another Hobby Boss one uh, F14 to do as well. Same scale. So it'll be interesting to see whether the two kits differ very much at all. you've got the air uh, the exhaust nozzles exhaust nozzle parts you've got the pilot and Rio uh, instrument panels you've got the HUD the head up display um, unit and also the cockpit tub which looks very nicely detailed be fun picking out all those knobs and dials and buttons well, it all looks really nice a little bit of detail on the insides of the um, machine gun housing and the side and um, side of the forward fuselage it looks really nice really good and if you can see that cockpit detail or instrument panel detail the next packet is wheels and wheel bay by the looks of it Oh, really nice. Loads of wiring detail in these. That'll look really nice when it's all painted up. Landing gear, nose gear, main gear. There's another nose gear strut there. All parts for the wheelbase. There's uh, two of the wheels, the other wheel, the rear, rear wheels, the rear landing gear wheels, the main and the nose gear wheels there. But 
but yeah, really nice detail. I'm going to have a lot of fun painting those wires, I really am. And I mean that genuinely because I like doing the wiring and stuff. I don't know if it's going to work guys, but I've zoomed in a little bit. As I can't actually see what's there. I hopefully it will be it's just another look at the detail. On those parts there, especially. Hopefully you can see it. Well, it all looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. Next one. There's the radar dome, I think the uh, instrument panel cover for the, the Rio, the rear seat. Uh, refueling probe, machine gun, a little bit for the instrument panel. Um, there's the arrestor hook. Some other, well, there's a lot of panels on there. Another nice bit of wiring on there. Hopefully, you can see that. But it's all nice detail. I don't know what's on here. Let's have a look. some sort of panel line or something I really don't know on that I really don't don't I think that yeah there's two exactly the same so it's one for either side maybe it's a um, portion of air brake or something like that for the wings I don't know looks really nice and crisp again like I said as far as I can see there's no flash or anything like that then we got the cockpit forward fuselage Now we've got the left side, where the machine gun goes. Ooh. Are we in shot? Are we not? I don't know if you can... Can you see that? Can you get a bit of a... Some nice rivet detail, nice panel lines. Everything seems nice and... Crisply done. lovely detail there's the other side of the fuselage the forward fuselage for the nose section the cockpit section if you like and the interior the inside of it no detail on the inside just some ejector pin marks to get rid of because obviously um, cockpit will take up most of it but you might be able to see a little bit so being bits to get rid of I think these go inside to hold the wings in position and obviously then you've got your air intakes that looks 
really nice. It's still raining, but it's thankfully at the moment it's just that fine, misty, horrible stuff that gets you really wet. Next bag, we have fuel tank, some pylons, I think. Again, really nice detail on these. Going to be really interesting to see how this comes out. As I said, I do love the F-14. Probably my favourite fighter jet. As it is with a, a lot of people. Possibly mainly because of Top Gun when that came out obviously the first one such a great aircraft then we have the tails we've got the four parts for the tails and then you've got four parts for the horizontal stabilizers really nice rivet detail on them and, uh, yeah I think I might be able to pick that out if it's if I've got it in the right place but that is really nice So I do like Hobby Boss kits. And then we have the F-14 Persian Cat um, Box A this is. This looks like it's um, quite full of stuff move it out of the way a sec right this is all the clear parts by the seams underneath there you've got the the nose part the forward part of the cockpit canopy that looks really nice really clear I don't really want to take it all off because I know full well that I won't get it all back on I don't want to push it down like that either because I'll end up snapping something which as you guys know I am good at that and then we have the main part of the canopy which again hope you can see is absolutely lovely there's a tiny bit of seam line there which I've got which will have to be taken off but I have seen that they do have an actual line down the centre to like the middle part and then there's nothing there so the the rear part I'll have to take off but the forward part needs to be painted in as with the, the more forward section if you like so that's good the clear parts are lovely and well protected as well which is really good to seats should I say ejector seats because obviously there is a pilot and the rear so 
And there we go. The seat and all the seat parts. Got the, the ejection handles. Ejection handles in the front. For the front of the seat. Seat cushions. I think that's the seat. That's the seat back. Here's the, the actual seat cushion. But really nice detail. Some good things to pick out there. So that'd be nice. Try and put this back in there. I should really watch how things come out before I try and put them back in. Um, air intake. Don't need to get that out really. Obviously there are two. So I'll just get I'll get the one out. Some really nice lines on it. There we go. A little bit of plastic to be taken off along there, along there and there. A little bit on there. Ooh. But nothing too serious. I have to rub down. It said it's got um. It says C3 in there, so I may have to rub that down, take that off. It's a nice line for um, reference for painting, but this looks like it's been cut off a sprue and they just haven't taken the burrs off, so I will have to do that. But, like I said, not too much of a problem. The nose, which there's no markings, no lines or anything on. That again, it's been cut off a sprue, so that will have to be taken off. I'm not going to have it open or closed, whichever. If it does that, I won't have that in the way, it'll just be stuck on. So that's that. What we got? Wheels, more. Um, some panels uh, the joystick smaller might be the throttle stick couple of wheels and uh, maybe the machine gun bay cover or part of it but really nice detail again those small parts got some really nice small buttons or dials on them and we've got some weaponry or is it I don't know actually Some pylons and pods, and I think these parts maybe go inside the air intakes. But again, on the pylons, don't know if you can see it as I say, but there are some nice rivet and line details on these. There's not a great deal of detail on the pods or anything, but still very nice. And there's two of those. We have a, box of, a pack of rubber tyres. Obviously the two nose wheels and the main gear bay, um, main gear wheels, or main gear tyres, should I say, get it right. 
and then we have a, fra a freighter edge that's got to be for the radar and there's these parts here that's the rear view mirrors to go around the cockpit I would think that these possibly are make up the cockpit canopy side walls there's another mirror there couldn't tell you at the moment what the rest of these there's some little levers or handles or something there so all will come apparent when it's being made and that's it that's that box done so we'll put it all back actually fits better than when it came out of the box which makes a change normally when something comes out of a box you can't get the stuff back in again then we have box B which has the business part I guess if you want to call it that lower half of the fuselage there will be some holes to cut out of no doubt there's where the wings will attach obviously there's the air intakes air brakes some really nice detail on there really nice detail nice rivets panel lines and various bits and pieces grills and whatnot really nice then we've got the upper part of the fuselage which again really nice panel line detail and rivet detail grills are done really nice there's no flash in the grills or anything like that everything is so clean just so crisp really really nice going to be interesting getting stuck into this a Li little bit of ejector pin marks here to be get gotten rid of but it shouldn't be too much of a problem I wouldn't think and hopefully you can see that as a bit of a well you can hear it as well in the middle of the air intake bits there then we have two sprues of where you've got fuel tanks by the looks of it again nice details on the pylons Don't it, I think it might be a fuel tank but yeah not a lot of detail but all very nice And that, guys, is your sprues. So just put those back in there. 
There is nothing else in there, I just made sure. I didn't leave anything out. I don't think this one has a great deal of weaponry, to be honest, because I don't think they actually, the Americans actually let the Iranians have a great deal of weaponry for them. So they didn't give them the pylons and things. So. decals we have some cockpit decals which look very nice that's the individual individual panels Look very, don't look very, they, 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 they don't look thick, they don't look like they've got a great deal of carrier film around them either. Um, I apologise, but I'm not going to go unsticking it. Again, not a lot of carrier film, they don't look super thick. But they do look nice. Lots of weapon, um, fuel tank decals and no step decals, I think. So that's that. Then we have the, the instructions. few symbol call outs on the front how to apply decals please read before operation just gives you your warnings and things uh, first first two pages sprue call outs tells you everything are and there's a list down the bottom here unused parts so there will be a load of bits left over Then, as with most aircraft, it's straight in, straight into the cockpit, which is great. Um, and actually, you've got your decals to go on as well, but it also gives you the colours that need to be that bits need to be painted as well so that's good which are referenced right back, right there. No, it's, um, yeah like this 12 or 33 H So like here, 1233, 8155, depending which um, make of paint you're using. I mean, obviously, if it's a sky grey colour, then you can find sky grey for Tamiya, if you prefer to use that. Um, Mr. Hobby, which is, it recommends for these. Um which are here at the bottom of the sheet so you can look for those which 1233 is flat black so you can reference them and paint them as you want I prefer to use um, Tamiya and if I've got the colours that I need in Tamiya then I shall use the Tamiya paints because I'm not going to go out and buy uh, Mr. Hobby paints just because that's what this kit 
Rick says that you should use. Um, I haven't got the money, I haven't got the pennies to do it, so unless I'll just put it in the eBay basket and let, try and let the other half buy them for me. But, um, I don't really want to keep doing that. But anyway, first stage of step one cockpit, um, radar dome. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll do this bit, which obviously is the front end of the fuselage between the nose and the fuselage. But I'm probably not going to do the radar dome because the nose is going to be closed up so you're not going to see it anyway so it doesn't really matter um, here it shows the um, air, mid air refueling probe stuck out so I don't know if you can I didn't. don't think I saw a closed version but maybe you can close it or not I don't know we'll have to see when we get to it um, nose gear and the nose gear bay a little bit of detail in there but not too much some nice wiring to pick out so that'd be nice and obviously fitting the nose gear wheel but I won't do that um, the recesses or the flaps for the uh, ladder don't know if I'll have them open don't know if I'll have the ladder in place or not I don't know might just have it closed step three is the machine gun into the the recesses in the side of the fuselage this I probably would do first because I don't think I'm going to have it open I'll have it closed so I'll put the bits in and have the covers on and then when I put it together I know I'm not going to break anything off so that's probably how I would do that then you've got the the um, underside of the fuselage cover to go in there wing sections and here it says to make a hole but it looks like it's a rectangle hole well that's going to be miniature so if I do have to make a hole or cut the hole what I would probably do is anything if well I suppose that's going to be like an aerial thing isn't it so yeah I'll just use a small bolt and small drill and then just use the knife to cut it out you've got the lights to go in the ends of the wings which I wouldn't do anyway I'd do everything else first and then paint that on the sprue and then put it on after same with the other wing again it's saying make rectangular holes and it's also saying to remove a section here and here Uh, gives you the option here cut when close so if you you can either again have the the flaps ailerons out or in open or closed if you're going to have it close uh, open then you need to paint this bit red and we've got the engines some, there's a nice detail parts there let's go on the engine not that you'll see any of that though mind you then there's more holes to make and you've got
we've got the parts of the air intake to go in which will obviously have to be painted first before and the inside of this before the outer cover before you do that and that's got holes in it as well and over the page main the main gear bay and the main gear all the parts putting together um, could add your own wiring if you've got some as well once do a bit of research find out where it goes then the main gear going in which I mean again I wouldn't put the wheels in until later once everything else is painted and the undersides all painted and everything work on the wheels separately and then you're not obviously again you're not going to break anything off which is what I'm good at um, these two sections go over the area for the, the wing covers and you've got the air brake on the back which obviously underneath is red and I think this these parts this is the bit that you actually have to cut away early back a little bit further because these parts swing out from the front that part will become apparent when I make it when I build it got your two tails your exhaust nozzles and your horizontal stabilizers going in and step nine that is step ten see step ten now with the radar dome and everything in there I would have broken that off by now which is another reason why it's just going to be like that it's going on it's staying on end of story and you've got all your bits for your canopy which is the photo etch parts which I said about to go both sides of the canopy uh, the mirrors aerial canopy fitting uh, the ladder if you want to have the ladder out which obviously then you have the canopy open and we've got the gear bay doors for the nose and the rear landing gear and the makeup for the arrestor hook didn't know the Iranian Air Force landed on carriers anyway but there you go and then installing pylons into the holes which you made previously and that's step 12 so that's and that's it guys pretty much you've got two missiles and two fuel tanks obviously the two fuel tanks go on the inboard pylons and the two missiles go on the outboard pylons and that's your lot guys Hopefully I've kept things in shot and all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.